Good, yeah. We'll, we'll see. If I uh, use a payment resin uh, residence, see if it uh, shows it. Oh, wow, yeah, she's way more invisible now, right? Way more invisible. You see that? This might be the way to go. We need to get rid of this, God loop. Okay, she still saw me quite easily. Okay, we've got a hit on him. Looks like you want to mess with that a bit. From playing Survivor, I saw the other person doing that. It seemed a bit more tricky to follow. Please no circle of uh, healing. <laughs> oh no, that that's probably a circle of healing, I think. Nice. Could have just been a make it actually. The problem is they can hear you do this. So if you're trying to kind of like be stealthy, look, see, do you see that? He knows that I came from that direction, so I was following behind me, by the way. Body blocker anyway. Team's weak. It's because the survivor caliber we're going against now is higher. At the start, we were going against more normal players, and uh, now uh, we've got higher caliber people joining, which usually happens in our lobbies. They make a lot of killers are really weak. Dead odds. No? What was the other sweats? Because we are. Like, we are really good at games in this community. It's just how it's always been. We were when we played uh, Mortal Kombat X. We were when we played For Honor. We were when we played, you know, even Dark Souls 2. We had amazing players in PvP for Dark Souls 2. I don't think Scourge activated that thing, by the way. I don't see that it's on. This Meg body blocks everyone. Have you noticed? I don't know how she keeps healing so quick, honestly. Is she, is she bringing like an insane medkit or something? Because she runs away, heals, and then comes back for a body blocking. Have you noticed? She's already healed. Okay, I need to see what medkit she's got. There you go. Oh.
Hear it again. Ba da 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 la da da. I like that, how you can attack when you're just coming out. It looks just body blocking, yeah, you see that? Alright, check, check how fast she heals. Because I got cause check because I'm playing. Like when she moves away. If she moves away. Wait, I can go through people? And now she has Metal Man. Huh. Nice. You can go through people with uh, that thing, by the way. That's quite good to know. Ba -da 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 -ba -da -da -da. Yeah, I think she's Circle of Boonie. I think it just shows you how kind of crazy strong Circle of Healing is. You healed in like a few seconds there, love. I saw you. What is going on with you? How fast is Circle of Healing again, guys? Okay, I think... We have to, like, ban circular healing for these. Because, uh... Looks a bit OP, doesn't it? <laughs> this girl's just been running at me all game, and she's just kept healing. <laughs> What's well, so okay, healing got nerfed. Yeah, it's still, it's still quite OP, in it? Pop. This girl's like non-stop walked into me <laughs> and she just keeps healing and just continually doing it. <laughs> I'm kind of curious of a medkit. If it's like a, just a brown or if it is actually a green or a purple. No, 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 no. That's kind of annoying. You think she's got a, a healing build? Could be. She definitely has better than man. I'm assuming it's circular healing. Yeah, look, she keeps running into it. You don't have Metal Man again, do you? Damn. I need to get used to this, like, going through survivors. It's weird. She definitely has dead odds. Somehow. No? Ah, uh, we got her. Dude, that's crazy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got a Mora. Might as well show you the Mora. <clears throat> That's crazy. I need to see a build. They really captured that uh, that scene with the eye. I just saw where uh, Nancy was uh, insta-killable for a second there. Do you see that? Quite cool to see. We're definitely learning some stuff from her. The way you can go through survivors is actually really good. The 
if I knew that earlier, I probably wouldn't have had to take as many body blocks. It's actually quite a close game, this. God damn. Nice. <laughs> Messed out of though. He's only four twists for time. <laughs> He's even running to the corner. <laughs> this is like I'm a moron. <laughs> this girl's so garbage. I don't think she's garbage. Like, uh, it being mouse one uh, is problematic. But these are quite strong survivors and she's doing alright. But we'll have to see we're live, you know. Um. She definitely isn't OP. I can tell you that. So, the only thing she needs is uh, buffs, if anything, not nerfs. But who knows? You know, who knows what the uh, the devs think? La da da la da da. I think it's going to be very hard to get them uh, with the insta kill, but I guess it should be because it's an insta kill, right? Oh, do you see that? She got a bit confused which way I was going. That's interesting. You saw that? Yeah, it does look like you're supposed to do this. So she's not complete mouse one, maybe. Because of the uh, the phasing. You can't completely understand where she's coming from. Fate it? No. Very nice. Okay. She's also quite small, too, so... Uh, looping is harder. That sucks. I really wanted a scourge hook, but I won't make it. She caught a face through pallets, though, just through survivors. I really want to see if this girl has a uh, circle of healing. That was insane. That perk is so crazy, even with the nerf. Oof. Nice. Very confusing movement. Well, if I manifest here, it should make it a bit harder for him to know which way I'm coming from. You see that? Yeah, that's what you do. So she isn't just a base... Oh, wow, we waited a long time. She isn't just a basic uh, mouse one. If you mess with the manifest and the demanifest, you get you get the uh, the passive... Um, uh, invisibility. And that through that passive invisibility is where her not complete just uh, mouse one killer comes from. Yeah. I think that's what it is. So, can you see how I'm invisible there? They see me that way. Completely invisible, right? And let's say I, if I manifest him, right? Watch what happens. Look, I'm invisible. I'm invisible again. You, you, I'm invisible again. You see that blinking? That That's confusing. And that's where you go back and forth, so they can't tell which direction you're going. You see that? I'm pretty sure that I'm right about that. But if they put pallets down instantly, you're kind of screwed. Sadly. But if they don't put pallets down instantly, you have a bit of a chance. And you still might add some loops as well. Let's try it here, look. Nice. But she's, I could tell with her movement there, she was confused. And she was just kind of just making guesses, basically. Uh, not based off anything. It looked like, anyway. 
Here we go. All right, let's see what happens here. Watch. So, look at that. Look at that distance I just got on that. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm quite sure that's what it is. I think we worked it out. Um, kind of like spirit, but without the phase and just her walking. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. So she isn't just a mouse one. She does have something up her sleeve. <laughs> it's almost kind of pointless to use the the, uh, the TVs over then just to teleport to a gen, what you want to get to. There we go. Let's try it again. Watch. Look at that. The hesitation. <laughs> You see? That's two, two for two, and these aren't bad loopers. Yeah. They'd see me going that way, and I'd disappear. And then all of a sudden, I'm closer. Yeah. So you, you basically create a 50-50 um, at this point. So here, right? So when I come out, this is where the 50-50 comes. Do you see how, how I'm uh, disappearing? That's where it comes from. It only creates a bit of a hesitation, so Dead Hard will rectify easily. Um, but that bit of hesitation where they don't have Dead Hard is enough to just catch up. It's not huge, but it's uh, it's not just basic mouse one. There you go. Also, you need these add-ons probably. M many uh, many killers are quite add-on dependent. Uh, to have that phase that I was having, it's these add-ons. They allow me to have 50% longer um, in, uh, invisibility. Potential map pressure plus a bit of antelope. It's only a bit of antelope though, it's very, very subtle. It's sad pre-dropping pallets is so strong. Like, there should be more punishment for just pre-dropping pallets. Don't you think? Like, what, what happens... This is me, once again, going, like, balance it and analytical. But what happens if, when you put a pallet down, you, you have a bit of delay? So, like, as you're putting the pallet down, you're kind of stuck with it as you're putting it down. So, if you do just put pallets down randomly, there's a chance the killer can go around anyway. Um, and the only time to really want to put a pallet down is if you're actually trying to stun the killer. Like, what about just something like that? So just putting pallets down is, doesn't just beat everything. 